Hello, my name is Laura McCoy and I am the Curator of Natural History at Manx National Heritage. And today I am showing you parts of a giant deer. So in February this year, we had a couple of calls from the uh, public and they left some messages with us saying, we found something quite unusual on the beach near Coat Michael. Would you be interested to come and have a look at it? We think it's a giant deer. So we were interested in that and somebody had taken a picture and it looked quite extensive. So we hot footed it down there and we arrived and what was in front of us was the majority of an articulated skeleton of a giant deer. Now to put that into context, to find articulated skeletons as in all arranged as if the animals just laid down is really unusual because quite often they're dug out of the ground and so they come out as separate bones you don't see them lying all together like that so that was really an exciting within itself and then of course the fact that giant deer bones and especially that quantity of them don't turn up that often unfortunately the head and the antlers weren't there but a lot of the post crania of the animal was there and so here we have two of those bones so these are limb bones um, this one here is a metatarsal so this would have been this is a like this bone of your hand and um, and here we have one of the ankle bones just what's amazing about these is the preservation of them I mean obviously they're intact some of the bones are a little bit more broken, but some of them we're really lucky are, are in this good condition. Now, as you can see, there's still some of the sediment attached to these. And so what we were excited as, about was the fact that not only have we got these bones in such good condition, but that we can, we've got the sediment all around them. All of the bones that we have in collections have all been cleaned up and all look very nice and shiny, like the one that we have on display. But this actually has the sediment that this animal laid down in. The sediment contains lots of information about the environment that that animal was living in because you'll have um, remains of pollen and remains of plants. The preservation is so good that sometimes you have entire plant fibres and you can identify what plants from, were there from those fibres. So you can start to recreate an entire landscape. So that's really exciting. Uh, we also had somebody come over to do a research project and so we took a sample and as you can see here there is a, a drill hole which they take a sample from so and they use that for carbon-14 dating which means that you can age these animals. In the past when we've done this with other specimens we've got about they're about 11,000 years old. So that's also super cool. So we can say what animals were roaming around on the Isle of Man 11,000 years ago. So this is why this is one of my favorite objects. It's one of the newest that's been attached to the collection and it's just one of the most exciting.